Hello, this is Purdue Matt, and welcome to the first episode of the Hardcore Museum Challenge Plus. Uh, in this series, I'll be playing in an amped up version of Troy Boy 777's original Hardcore Museum Challenge. Uh, the original challenge is put forward by Troy Boy and invo involves uh, creating a hardcore map, uh, going out into the world, and bringing back 20 Minecraft items such as diamond blocks, glowstone, a jukebox, uh, crafting an iron golem, and that's just to name a few. And bringing those back to your base or museum and putting them on display. Uh, the plus portion of this challenge is my own amped up version and involves bringing back an additional 16 items on top of Troy Boy's original 20 uh, and, that, and that thus bringing the total up to 36 uh, and including among the harder to get items in this new 16 uh, would be items that can only be achieved by defeating the three types of Minecraft boss mobs. Uh, these items would include the dragon egg, uh, crafting a nether star into a beacon, and bringing back three sponges. Uh, so for more information about the specifics of the challenge, I encourage you to click on the link here and, or below in the description of the challenge uh, to see the introductory video I've created for this. So uh, since I created this Amped Museum Challenge, it's only fair that I play it myself, right? So I'll be checking in with you briefly uh, before each episode to update you on my progress. Uh, I'll use a combination of the scoreboard you see behind me uh, and the original 20 items are on the bottom, the amped 16 challenge items are on the top, and I'll also be using a PowerPoint version of my scoreboard, like the one I'm showing you right now, uh, to update my progress live during the episodes itself. So uh, this is likely going to be an interestingly long series. Uh, because of the need to defeat the boss mobs, quite a bit of planning and preparing in the form of enchanting, uh, mining, uh, creating potions, gathering resources, etc. Uh, will be required to ensure that I don't get my head handed to me by the boss mobs when I do encounter them. So, uh, here we go. I hope you enjoy this first episode. By the way, I'd love to see your play along videos if you care to take this challenge yourself. Uh, just pop me a, a personal message or put uh, say, state in the comments that you are uh, taking this challenge and I will um, uh, try to check those videos out. Uh, I'm not going to require that you use the same seed as me, but if you'd like to use the seed I used for this map, uh, the seed I used was That Belongs in a Museum, and that was inspired by Troy Boy's uh, video intro. Um, I put the seed in the description below. Pay attention to the punctuation capitalization. It probably makes a difference uh, in the map generation. So, uh, as you'll see, this seed put me in a rather surprising starting predicament. So, see you there. Dig, dig a mine. Dig, dig a mine. It's Purdue Matt. He's a guy. Playing Minecraft and trying not to die. Did we mention hardcore mode? Killing zombies and skellies and creepers, we love it. He's got a good mind, a, mind, a bunch of stuff. But hardcore the going gets kind of rough. If he snuffs it, well, kids, that's it. It's game over. Respawning won't happen. He lost all his stuff. And that'd be pretty lame. Hello, this is Purdue Matt, and this is episode one of my Hardcore Museum Challenge Plus, uh, which is a modification of Troy Boy's um, uh, Hardcore Museum Challenge. This uh, was uh, created by Troy Boy uh, about two years ago and is a challenge in which uh, players have to gather... Uh, up to 20 different types of uh, materials in Minecraft. Now I've taken it a step further and added 16 new uh, things that have to be crafted or gathered uh, to bring the total to 36 items. So this is a challenge directly almost to Troy Boy 777 uh, to kind of step up the game and uh, make it a little bit more challenging. Um, so uh, otherwise, all the rule, same rules apply as before. And, uh, basically, there's no um, 
a trading with villagers, no sleeping in beds, uh, no squatting, which basically means you can't stay in any kind of uh, structure that you did not build yourself, and no um, pillaging, which basically means that I cannot take anything from chests that spawn naturally in Minecraft. Everything has to be vanilla Minecraft, uh, the most recent version. And so here we go. We're going to create a new world. And I'm going to create a new one. And let's call this sucker uh, Purdue Matt. Matt's Hardcore Museum Challenge Plus. I like really wordy challenge. Challenge Plus. There we go. And we're going to put this over to hardcore. And let's come up with a fun seed for this. Let's say that. That belongs in a museum. All right. Very good. So create new world. Let's go. Let's do this. So this is a new series for me. Uh, typically, I don't fare well in hardcore worlds. I tend to get a little cocky after a while, and I blow it. So let's see how well I do. And you have got to be kidding me. I am on an island in the middle of an ocean. <laughs> oh, so that's what I get for coming up with my own seed. But you know what? I'm going to deal with it. Oh, hey, look over there. There is an ocean monument. So one of the uh, new challenges that I'm giving to players of this particular um, uh, challenge is that you have to basically kill all of the new bosses in Minecraft. So that would include uh, the Ender Dragon, the um, uh, Wither, and also the Elder Guardians that spawn in the, uh, the Ocean Monuments. So, where am I? I'm going to have to write these coordinates down. So I am at 151, 195. So I just wrote, jotted those down on a piece of paper here. Uh, let's just wait a second and see if anything renders around me. Well, there's some trees over there. <laughs> there's no trees or anything. This stinks. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. This could be the shortest series of hardcore ever. Well, I can't risk losing the light uh, and being out in the open at night un without any weapons, without any armor. So I'm just going to swim for it. Uh, hopefully some mainland or something comes up. So, well, off in the distance, maybe. It might just be another island. Who knows? Now i got to give that ocean monument a wide berth. So, uh, I think I'm going to cut right here and come back to when I get to that island over there. Okay, I'm coming up on the island. And you can see the ocean monument is right over there. If we listen, we might be able to see the guardians attacking the squid. No, oh, I'm not going to wait around for that. So, anyway. First priority is to get some wood. So I'm going to clean this little island out of its wood. So here we go with the traditional punching of trees for all new maps. The age, age, and age old uh, uh, tradition of every new map ever created in Minecraft, at least in survival mode. Okay, so let's, I cannot believe that I just spawned on an island. That is absolutely too funny. So once I get some wood, I'm, my next priority is to get some tools. Um, should I just dig here to get tools, or should I 
Looks like there might, that could be mainland over there. Could ju or it just could be another island. Um, it looks like it's probably another island. Let's go over and check it out. And we'll do some mining over there. So let's take our wood and run. Well, I guess we get some apples. Will I luck out? Apples might be critical for me now on this map. Un stinking believable. I'm still in shock over this. Okay, ocean monument. Where'd you go? Okay, give. The oh, I hear spiders. Oh, an apple. See, I did luck out. Okay, good. Good for me. Alright, let's head over to this island. Oop, I shouldn't sprint. Not until I get some food. Ooh, I got two apples. Nice. Okay, let's see. This is pro this looks like it's probably just a big island. I'm guessing. I don't see any features behind um, behind these trees. But I do have some pretty flowers here. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We've got some meat. Meat. All right. Here we go. Let's make some planks. And crafting bench. We're going to go for the traditional pick. Wooden pick first. Let's get some more sticks in that. One, two. All right. That should be enough sticks to get us started. And we're going to make some stone tools. Hi, you're going to be lunch here soon, sir. All right. Let's dig down until we get some stone. There's some stone. Now, my first priority is going to be to get some armor. Well, food first, uh, but armor second. Because as long as I am without armor... I am pretty much a one-hit kill for a creeper at point-blank range. So, I should see. Uh, I think nine pieces of stone is enough to make all the tools, but let's get enough to make a furnace as well. So, we're... I think we're good to go here. We might be able to use this as an emergency shelter uh, for the first night as well. How are we doing for daylight here? Mm, not too bad, at least not yet. So, let's quickly make some tools, shall we? Alright. Pick, shovel. Boom. Boom, boom. And an axe. And we're going to make a stone sword. And I hear pig as well. That is very good for me. Okay, let's get these chickens. Alright, one meat. Okay, these chickens are going to be hard to... Uh, thank you. Chickens are going to be hard to discern from these white flowers. I hear them. Where are they? Where these stinking chickens go? Come on, chickens. Well, there's pigs. I'll take it. Okay. Three bacon. Three bacon so far. Where are these chickens? I hear them. Where did they go? Down here? Oh, okay, well there's one swimming around. Flailing. Okay. Alright. Let's get up here. Let's get this pig. Let's relieve this pig of his meat. There we go. Getting some critical experience as well. Egg might come in handy later. Thank you. Your sacrifice is appreciated. All right, let's go over here and let's get let's get cook, cook, cooking. So let's make 
Oh yeah, two furnaces is good. Now we can burn our uh, wooden tools that we don't need anymore. And we can burn some wood. Alright, so at least we're not going to starve our first night. Okay, in the meantime, while that's cooking, let's get gather some more wood. Because we're about to lose daylight here. And I need... I don't have any coal, so I'm going to have to make some charcoal. And to make charcoal, you need logs. Okay, so things are going to start spawning here any second. So I need to get under cover. Alright, that should be good. So let's head back down here. And steal some wood from here. Put it in there. Actually, as long as I'm on a... No, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Okay. Let's make some charcoal and get some torches. Keeping a wary eye out for creatures of the night. I'm already down four meat pops. So, what a lousy start. Well, it's, it's, it's a fun start, but holy cow. <laughs> Talk about a disadvantage being on an island. Uh, and I still, I'm, I, I'm, I would be, if I was a betting man, I would say that I'm still on a big island here. But who knows? I haven't had a chance to explore yet. Okay, so charcoal. Let's get some torches going. Okay, so let's. Where was my little hidey hole? It's around here somewhere. Well, okay. Where did I? Oh, there's my little hidey hole. Okay. So let's light this up. So nothing spawns in here with us, at least and maybe do a little mining while the night is okay we don't need that many pieces of charcoal but okay all right so uh, what do I want to do I want to make another pick because I'm gonna do some mining make actually make two stone picks oh I have enough stone to make one it's okay let's Let's take our crafting bench into the hidey hole with us. And we will block that off with some wood. And we are officially safe for the first night. So let's eat. And so I need to make the most efficient use of my food possible. Just taking stock of what I've got. So I've got saplings, don't need them. Flowers, don't need those. But I do need these picks. So we are on the hunt for some iron. First priority. So what I'm going to be doing uh, for this challenge is, at least my approach is going to be to uh, find a base and make make a scoreboard to keep track of my accomplishments there and uh, hopefully it would be someplace close to a uh, extreme hills biome of some kind because we're going to need one of the objects we're going to need is emeralds and yay some iron okay so now, early in a hardcore game, my I think it would be best to try to avoid confrontations with mobs. So I think, rather than making a sword first, I will make a, a breastplate first. And so let's do... But I'm going to need... 
two more pieces of iron. Now I'm hearing lava. So probably a good thing that I'm not digging straight down. Now, ideally, it'd be great if I could hit a cavern of some kind. And that way, because caverns, getting surface iron in caverns is pretty easy. This, what I'm doing right now, this mining, is kind of the slow way of doing it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut and if I hit anything interesting, like coal, yay. Alright, so let's mine this out and then we'll pause it. Well, you know what, I'll pause it now so you guys don't have to sit through this tedious mining bit. And if I find something interesting or it becomes daylight again, then I will bring you back. Okay, so I have not found a cavern yet, but you can see I've dug down quite a bit. I have, though, found a couple more pockets of iron. So we're actually doing not so badly in that regard. Now I'm going to now vacate this impromptu mine of mine. I'm going to take my torches with me because they are somewhat precious commodities at this point in the game. Oh, okay. How did I manage this? Okay, how come I can't jump? There we go. Alright. Torch. Let's go up. So, making our slow and tedious way up these little tiny newbie mine. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's a good sound. I like that sound. That means that it is daytime, most likely. Okay, I'm going to seal that off so I don't get surprised. And let's take a peek out there. Well. Oh, hi there. Hi, uh, my high school is selling yes. chocolate chip cookies to support the marching band. All right. <laughs> Just waiting. It's a skeleton ambush. All right. So, pop out of here, take a quick look around. No creepers. Nothing. All right. So, we also got some coal so we don't have to waste our wood. So, let's get this smelting. I can divide this between the two furnaces. Make it go a little quicker. I'll plop down my crafting bench. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll save my coal and I'll use my other more useless stuff. Can I do these? Nope. Um, yeah, I'll use that. My charcoal. Okay. So, while that's cooking, let's take a look around this place and try to... Whoa! Oh, right. It's daytime. I don't have to worry about you during the daytime, but I will take your string. Thank you. And yours too, please. Thank you. Oh. Neither one of those jokers gave me any string. Stingy spiders. Okay. And what do we got here? Well. Whoa! She that made me jump about five feet in the air. Okay. I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> and that was very loud and unexpected. Okay. Well, as I suspected, well, maybe this isn't an island. Oh, it is an island. Okay, so this is just another island. But... Are savannas on islands? Or can they be on islands? Let's go over here. Take a look. Hmm. Well, that looks a little more promising. Kind of off at the edge of my render distance there it looks like that continues to go on so maybe we've reached the mainland or at least a, a big peninsula of it let's hope because this game's gonna get hard if I am stuck on a big island as far as resources and everything are concerned 
All right, so I'm gonna. Now I notice I've learned that you can one-hit kill most passive mobs if you get a critical hit. So you can save your stone swords by jumping up and hitting your prey. So since we cannot make beds, there's no incentive for me to save sheep. So I'm afraid I'm going to decimate this island's population of sheep and get mutton. Thank goodness for mutton. Poor Troy boy in his first uh, attempt at uh, this hardcore museum challenge did not have the luxury of sheep that gave up mutton when you hit them. So sheep were just a pretty uh, to look at but annoying presence in his maps. But now we have the advantage of mutton, raw mutton. So, oh, I ran out of fuel here. Okay. But not there. So let's stick that mutton in there. Okay. So I've got 10. So I have enough to make almost full iron armor already. So, at least as far as that is concerned, we are. Oop, what, what the heck am I doing? Okay, there we go. Trying to craft pants out of a breastplate. It does not work that way in Minecraft. Alright. Do I have... Well, that's it? Okay, so I guess I didn't have enough to make full iron, but close. So we're, we're on our way. We don't have enough to make pants. Or, or I'm sorry, boots. But this makes me very happy. Having lots of meat. Ah, after the first night in survival. Oop, I heard something. I'm very paranoid about creepers when I'm playing in hardcore mode. Hmm. So I have actually yet to successfully complete a hardcore challenge. Now, I've never actually formally done a hardcore challenge that I downloaded from another person, but I've kind of made up some of my own, and I always, uh, you know, find my, I establish my base, and then I get cocky, and go out and bite off more than I can chew, typically, and uh, take on some mon mob, or gang of mobs, usually. Um, that I have no business taking on. So we're going to gather our things up. We're going to go check out that savanna over there. And hopefully find that we are on the mainland. Because I'm sorry, but these islands are just not going to work. Though, I'm very jazzed that we're, we've already found a ocean monument. So, terrific. So let's go and check this out. Should I make a boat? You know what? Considering I don't know the extent of the water, the ocean, my ocean situation, that might actually be a really good idea. So let's make a boat. Let's make two of them, actually, since the boats in Minecraft tend to be broken and fragile. I do hope they get around to fixing boats in Minecraft. Because boats, for the most part, are just annoying. Okay, so here we go. So I could just go over there, but you know what? Let's... Why don't we just kind of go around for a little bit and see if we can find out a little bit more about the lay of the land here. So we're in a savanna. We're going to have some acacia wood at our disposal. Uh, so hopefully that means there's a desert nearby which would allow us to get one of the blocks in the new uh, expanded menu of items that I have for this challenge and that is the uh, 
chiseled sandstone if we can find a desert temple. I am really hoping to see some land pop up and not as much ocean. Okay, there's some desert. This might be a good place to kind of pop in and take a look around. Now, I've never quite mastered getting out of these boats gracefully. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Half the time I end up breaking them. Or they go shooting off. Alright, so... We're on an itty bitty peninsula here. So where are we doing? How are we doing for daylight? We're already getting on to night number two. Sheesh! Should I build a shelter? Or should I just do another hole in the side of a hill? The Hobbit shelter. The Frodo Baggins dig a hole. Now, being in a desert at night is probably ill-advised. And I this, this is a big stinking island, isn't it? This is just a giant island. Again, I should probably not be sprinting, but you know what? I'm not that patient of a person, so I'm just gonna keep checking. Now what would be really nice is if we could find some horses. But if it's an island, that's probably wishful thinking. Got a river. Uh not going to work really well as an emergency sh overnight shelter. Now, does that count as squatting if I overnight in a cave? No, that can't be. I'm assuming that Troy Boy, when he made this challenge, meant that uh, you cannot overnight in, let's say, a village house that's already pre-constructed for you. So, let's get up here and take a look. Get a good vantage point. So this would be a savanna plateau up here. And, oh, man. So we're still going to be, we're still faced with islands. Islands, islands, islands. Nuts. Okay. Well, let's look for another shelter. Oh, but we've got some pumpkins down here. I think a jack-o'-lantern was one of our objects, so maybe we can just knock that off of our list, huh? So let's harvest these. Maybe we can make some pumpkin pies if we find some cows. Okay, and I need to get into I need to get under cover. Alright. <laughs> it's it's hobbit strategy. Okay, let's put up a let's light the area up a little bit so nothing spawns right on top of us. Okay, so digging into the side of the mountain and make bag end here, or at least a s small version of it. All right, a little L-shaped shelter makes it so that we cannot be sniped by creatures of the night who might uh, be able to fire ranged weapons at us. Okay, and how are we doing so far on this? All right, so we're already up to 31 minutes. So uh, I think I'm going to call it quits here for this episode. And you're just going to have to see if I ever get off these stinking islands and into some area, or, or maybe I'll just make this my base and uh, shuttle everything back here, which might take a long time. So, anyway. All right. Well, that is the first installment of our new uh, Hardcore Museum Plus Challenge. 
And until I see you again, enjoy your own adventures. Enjoy your, our, or my adventures, I guess, with me. It's pretty and until mad. next time, he's a guy playing Minecraft and trying not to die. Did we mention hardcore boy? Killing zombies and skellies and creepers, we love it. He's got a good mind, a, mind. a bunch of stuff. Take a mind. But hardcore, a mind. going gets kind of Take a rough. Mind. If he snuffs it, well, kids, that's it. it. Mind. It's game over. Respawning won't happen. He lost all his stuff, and that'd be pretty lame.